scotch, bourbon and fried. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Hey, everybody. Here we are. Another episode of Trending C. Um, this is a Indian whiskey called Black Dog. Wait a minute, though. Is it an Indian whiskey? Oh. Or is it a Scotch whiskey? Uh, oh. Mm, tis, blended Scotch whiskey. Tis, in fact, a blended Scotch whiskey bottled and sold in India. So Interesting. It is actually a blended Scotch. 100% cool. blended Scotch. Uh, bottled in India. And the reason that they bottle it in India is to avoid um, import duty fees. So apparently, uh, they, can, they can, yeah, they can avoid those fees um, by having the... Um, the unbottled product shipped right. there and then bottled there. So right. it's kind of a it's kind of a smart move to uh, save a little bit of uh, of money so, and get a Scotch whiskey into a blended Scotch into India. So we should be expecting a little bit bigger things compared to some of the other blends that we've had. Yeah, so we've had quite a few Indian blends, yep. and they're often blended with Scotch malt. And in this case, it's in I keep wanting to say Indian whiskey, but it's not. It's a blended scotch, yeah. so there is no Indian components just in the liquid. That's where it was. So it's really just a blended scotch. Yeah. So one thing, though, that is very Indian whiskey about this right. is it says 75 proof, yeah. yet 42.8% percent. Percent alcohol, yeah. which makes zero to little sense. In North America, anyway. Yeah, but it also doesn't say ABV. It says VV. Yeah. So, so we got to kind of look into that a little bit further. Um, this one is matured in bourbon cask. Yes. And then finished in sherry. Sherry cask. So, so it has the potential to be a little bit more interesting. And it is supposedly the only triple matured blended scotch. Triple matured. Look how dark it is. Yeah. Um, it's quite dark. And it doesn't say anything about natural color. So no. presumably there's a little color added there. Um but yeah, interesting stuff. It's got yeah. it's got an interesting backstory to it. Okay. Okay, so getting into the nose. The obviously. nose right away is uh, completely more malty and obviously more. It's it is more scotchy, blended yep. scotchy than uh, the other ones. But it has like a a fruitiness and a figginess to it. And yeah, a, it's definitely some figginess. A sweetness on the nose and like that heather honey kind of mm -hmm. scotch thing going on, which There's is There's a good. slight level of like sherry component to the to the nose yeah, there. Yeah, for sure. It almost smells like there is a tiny bit of oak on the nose too. Mm. I mean, it's a pretty good nose. Yeah, it's not a bad nose. All right, should we get right into it? This is actually... One of the fastest growing um, brands in India, too. Yeah. So, obviously, the people there, the people have spoken. The people are buying it. So they, they know what they, they like. like it. Yeah. So, let's see if we like it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. That is definitely on the realm of... Uh, whiskey compared to some of these other ones. Yeah, so um, we've, we've recently uh, tried the Signature uh, Indian Blend and Antiquity Blue, another Indian blend, and now um, in some ways they're almost not that whiskey-ish. They're, no. they're a little bit rummy and vodka-y, and um, this is just back, back, to, back to normal whiskey kind of flavors for us. Yeah, there is a. You're not getting a huge amount of influence off that sherry cask necessarily on the flavor, or even the bourbon cask specifically. But it is at least it's behaving a little bit more like something that um, is recognizable. Is recognizable, but also like behaving like something that's kind of okay, you know. Yeah, and you know what? It's got um, it's got some of the vanillas I think from mm -hmm. the bourbon cask, and like you said, it has some sherry cask influence as well. I mean, it's very drinkable. Very drinkable. This is one that you can actually sip on. And um, there's some nice wood sugars and a little bit resin fla flavors in there. And this one's now being sold in Canada as well. I'm not sure 
where else in the world they're kind of like expanding this to. Mm -hmm. uh, but you can get this one in Canada now too. So it's interesting. It's it's um, it's kind of like it's gone from Scotland to India to Canada, mm -hmm. and maybe the U.S. and beyond after that. There's actually some interesting kind of fruit notes on there. It's almost like cardamom and and like orange zest a little bit. There's, okay. there's some other kind of flavors going on it's, that are a little bit deeper and richer. Sure. And then there's a little bit of that heat at the end. The there heat too. is kind of classic with some of these. And you mentioned a little tiny bit of a char note. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Overall, I could see myself sipping this for sure. Yeah, not bad. I mean, I think if I was to go to uh, India yeah. and pick one off the shelf that it was just like a, a bottom shelfer that you can carry around with you, this one might be nice to sip on. Yeah, I think as far as like, you know, Royal Challenge, Antiquity Blue, Signature, and then this, Yeah. I think I would probably be choosing this at the, at so my, first, yeah. my first option out of those four anyway. We will be doing at some point, not right away, but a blind, uh, what's the best bottom shelf kind of challenge. Have we done yeah, that? yeah, no, yeah. we could do that for sure. Yeah. We could like pair them off and just see which one's the best. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got four or five kind of blended Indian whiskeys to try. Absolutely. I don't know if you could include this in the comparison though. Yeah, maybe not. Because it's actually a blended scotch. Yeah, that's true. It does say blended scotch whiskey right on the thing. Oh no, I read up about it. It is definitely blended scotch. Yeah. So anyway. It doesn't say too much about India on it at all actually. It just that it's bottled there. Yeah. If you look on the back side yeah. it says, uh, or maybe it's on the box actually. Yeah. It's actually on the box and it says, bottled by United Spirits in India, but yeah. it's, it's matured and um, distilled, aged in Scotland. Cool. There it is. So it's, it's a bit confusing, but I mean, really, when you think about it, it's actually not. It's just a scotch that's bottled in India. Perfect. And sold there. Yeah. So anyway, um, we're trying to see... If you're looking for Indian whiskey videos, check our uh, check our videos and search the brand that you're looking for. We and, might have already reviewed it. And if you're not, we have reviewed so many other different whiskeys out right. there: scotches, uh, bourbons, Canadian Irish, whiskey. Canadian world. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Subscribe. Cheers. All right. Drinking whiskey, describing all the flavors for you and me. Irish, scotch, bourbon, and rye. If they like a bottle, they'll tell you why. Subscribe on YouTube.